Okay. Listen, if, if you guys can't even get a school lunch right, why should you be forcing kids to be in those buildings? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... of nominating Jen Catulli for the Men's Auxiliary of many, many hours to our children. Um, she sits, Jen drives the van, she has a voice. <laughs> I have my bus driver. <laughs> um, and she's influenced more than 30,000 eat healthy and live smoke free, which is the message of the American Heart Association. Ma'am, are you one of the principals? I am. Uh, I got a question for you. To what extent are Second Amendment rights respected in your buildings? The, oh, the, one, the ones under your control. <laughs> well, should you be forcing kids to be in those buildings if, I understand guns are banned there, is that correct? Should you be forcing taxpayers to underwrite that, that process? And what's your name? I don't know who she is. federal government, according to Mary Clark, uh, Jonah Lecky, and I apologize if you're watching, I'm not sure that's the pronunciation of your last name, um, indicates that now we'll have to change over, and in this summer we'll have to add whole grain pasta, and we will no longer be able to use white pasta. And they've been trying this and testing it, and none of the kids like it. They fed it to them, according to this article, 20 times, and they didn't eat it. So this is my issue, where past performance is not an indicator of future results. Your chart up there puts down that we'll be in the red in two or three years. We won't be in the red because they're going to make the food stink even more than it does today. If I had the time, I'd go to the school and... It's true. <laughs> I'd go to the school and I'd stand by the garbage can just to see what goes in. What, can we tell the government, forget it? so that we can feed the students enough food to make them comfortable. I mean, if we were as any other kind of school, not in a country setting, not in an agrarian community, where our school was in the city or in the town, these kids would be at Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's, and the sub places every day. Did you guys go out that way to try to get away from me, asking questions? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, listen, if, if you guys can't even get a school lunch right, why should you be forcing kids to be in those buildings? I'm going to go. Sorry. Are you inferior to McDonald's since you can't even make a lunch? Egypt people is very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene, and sort of kind of cut spending. Because the government needs some expensive things, like the wasteful 34 West building, and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers, and other people who could be considered swearers. Freaking.com